bad neck. It is when they drag him that he came out to come and explain about the broken neck. They didn't drag Darosa to come and explain from the beginning. And that is what I want this platform to do. Those people, they said they're working underground. They do something underground. Whatever they're doing underground, we don't know. We never see results. I'm, I am for justice also. That is why it cannot always be with me. We cannot be mentioning Wumi alone. Okay, we mentioned, oh. we started with Wumi since the beginning of these uh, issues. And Wumi is not ready to come and talk to us. What about the other guys? That is what I'm saying. What about other guys? Let's drag them. Darosa, come and explain from beginning. T Mobas neck was broken. Lifestyle was there. Come and explain. Uh, Adura was there. Spending was there. All these people, they were all there 72 hours. Not just only with me. Let's drag these people to come and give, to come and give us what they know about this issue. I'm not saying they should they should not drag anybody, but we shouldn't be dragging women alone. If women is not ready to talk, who about others? That was there 72 hours. We didn't drag them enough. We focus all our attention on women. All our attention on women. This is what I'm saying. Blood is thicker than water. Darosa is family. Spending is family. Uh, uh, yes, spending, right? Is family also. Adura is family. He will have been dragging women since all these days. As he's not ready to say anything, he's not ready. she's not ready to talk to us. What well, about the others? That was there 72 hours. What well, about the woman, the woman that said when they want to anoint Mobad, that was when the neck was broken. That means that no, woman no, no. knows no. something. Excuse me. No, Otuba. excuse Otuba. me. Otuba. Let, let me land. Here. Let me land. Otuba. Have you always so been on this Please platform? let me land. Have you always please been on give this me platform? Let, let him talk. land. Please. That means that let woman, that coming. woman knows something about how Mobad's neck was broken. We should drag that woman also. Because he said, oh, it is when the uh, pastor want to anoint uh, Mobad said, that is, when, that is when the neck was broken. So that woman should come and explain to us. Uh, good evening, Otumba. In so your, that is what I'm saying. In your own hey. opinion, I salute you this evening. In your own humble opinion, regardless of what may have said and everything anyone has said, how do you think or what do you think led to that neck being broken? I mean, how, how do you kind of see it? How do I know? I wasn't there. I'm asking. No, how do you? How do you? How do you visualize? How do you <laughs> view it? I'm what is your view like on everybody. the matter? I'm also ask, uh, asking questions like everyone. But that that woman said, "Oh, it is when they want to oh, anoint him. him. That was when the neck was broken." No, no. But who could have? Who could have broken the neck? So who could have? Yes, who could have broken the neck? Let's ask the that woman. Asuba. Otuba, no, wait. Uh, Otuba, can I say something? Otuba, please, can I just interject a little bit? If you are following this case and you, as in, listen to more detail of all uh, that has happened, you'll be rest assured that the, co uh, the I mean, the coffin being bought was more for Mubad. And that, so, that, 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 that is the reason power. they broke his neck. That is the reason they broke his neck. I'm okay, let them come and explain to us. Inside. It is because yes, so that can squeeze side because. excuse me. Let the woman let that woman come out let and explain to her. Oh, no, this is why we broke it. 
Juices, this is the air taker. You calm down a bit. Juices, you wasn't here. I think I am on on Otumba's side. I am. I am. You wasn't here. I am on. I am on Otumba's side to a certain extent. Called, called the breaking of the neck be something ritual, and that is that if he can resurrect, and if anything can, any miracle can happen. If we break his neck, we know one hundred percent he can never come back. All about that aspect that is just a conspiracy but what if there's something ritualistic about it where if we break this i don't think it's a matter of um, someone not fitting into the co coffin if you move the body and you keep moving the body and you keep realigning the body you may be able to fit the body into the coffin but breaking the neck doesn't actually give you suitability could breaking the neck actually be something of a ritual where we know it can never come back that, it's a question. That means look at it. Look at it very well. Even if 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 the neck is not broken, the body cannot side that cough. It cannot. But as in looking at the picture of the and the video of it, that is the only way they can place him and he can side that cough. And secondly, that woman that spoke, he might not know that the neck has been broken overnight, and the man just lift up the neck and pour anointing oil. You know, the thing will just fall. And she Juicy. might think, okay, this is just for, yeah. Juicy, excuse me. I don't know why you defended this woman. This woman didn't defend herself. He didn't say, oh, it was because of the coffin was small. No. He said categorically that it was anointing her when Pastor wanted to anoint, anoint him. That was when the neck was broken. That is what she said. Stop defending this woman. Let this woman come out. And tell yeah, us, we, okay, I am, oh, I am the coffee was small. One hundred percent behind Otumba. Yes, I'm it is. So Otumba. why are you defending this woman? There is, there is something, there is something about this process. There is something ritual. I'm, I'm, I'm with Otumba on this one. Um, Mr. Good evening, everyone. Number one. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, um, Otumba. Good evening, Mr. Aristoka. <laughs> Concerning the coffin being small, the okay, coffin sorry before the continuation, just a quick one. Yeah, let me remind everybody again. This is a, brain, a brainstorming platform, brainstorming. Okay, and we are very rational in our thoughts here. Once again, uh, we don't have to fight. We don't have to be thin. You can see right now, Demi again with Otumba on this particular one, um, and I think I also agree. We need explanation to from this woman. At least she witnessed something that happened. Let her tell us what she so there it's not i mean it's not too much for her to help in the investigative process so let us be rational not every time we fight and we try to defend different things that i mean cannot just be defended and the more we defend whatever that, that cannot be defended it makes that person become foolish but that person may not know but you can see it so let's be transparent at all time so that will be meaningful in the things that we are saying go on so concerning the um when they started dragging why was Mubaz's neck broken and everything the coffin maker actually came out and said that um, the coffin was small because of the pressure mounted by um, Mubaz's family so i think i'm um, of the opinion that the reason why the body was actually broke uh, the neck was actually broken is to fit the coffin and also uh, in su supporting otumba Truly, uh, and Mr. Demi as well, truly, when some actually people die and uh, when made soldiers die, I, the, using the word made soldiers, people in the um, listening to this live will understand what I mean by made soldiers. Mubad was not a made soldier. As you mean Mubad was a made soldier, yes, we can actually think through that route that fine, his body uh, his neck was actually broken, maybe for the possibility of coming back and all of that. But the lifestyle of Mobad and Mobad enduring so much, um, um, so much, I won't say torture, but uh, so much uh, bullying while he was alive shows that he was not a made soldier. And there was, there, there's no reason for actually to break his neck in order for him not to come back to come and hunt the people that actually killed him. And uh, Mubaz's father is a pastor. Sorry, so what do you mean by male soldier? We are foreigners and different people. I mean, are you speaking for us to understand you or for you to just, I mean, chill? What's okay. male soldier? A male soldier. 
I want to choose my words correctly, you know, because I don't know the kind of people. It is a big cool or whatsoever. I mean, because we no, don't no, get no, no, everybody no. gets that thing. They are being like cultist being well, just saying now it's not a cultist like it doesn't belong to any secret organized secret group okay yeah basically in this context is actually like belonging to like a brotherhood like a higher, secret higher level secret than group. even than cultists you understand mm. yes I, I if i give like give cite an example now like you know a lot of people will understand uh, but i don't you know i can't be calling out names but brotherhood higher than all these normal uh, university courts no 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 far far more than that like being a brotherhood being an ancestor being made uh, papa i know you grew up in lagos you should at least understand what the guy i'm saying okay, for people that grew up in Ilori, there is this guy called um he's late now so there's this guy called ajia so if you're in Ilori and you know the kind of person ajia is you should know what a mate soldier is and that was why when they eliminate Ajia, they have to pieces him for the possibility of coming back. So Mubad was not that kind of person. So the, uh, the possibility of breaking his neck so that he wouldn't come back or the uh, possibility of resurrecting is very, very slim. And they cannot oh, rule. Um, 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 uh, Solomon. Um, um, <laughs> I'm going there with, with Aristo. Please. Aristo, let, let me just have this one. I want to. I just want to All inject right. something extra into it. Then I leave it to you. Now, okay. So you want to fit someone into the coffin? You can break the neck. You can break the pelvic area, and you can break the knees. Will it not have been easy to even break the knees to fit in the body? Why the neck? Okay, I will never accept that um, uh, the coffin they got from Mobad is too small. That was why the neck was broken, just for Mobad to fit in. I will never accept that. We all know, the, the family knew there was two million for Mobad burial, two million naira. If the coffin was small, the fa all the family was there, they can still get another coffin that Mubad is going to fit in. Two million naira for Mubad burial. And all the family that present, including Darusa, Adura, spending, they all knew there was two million from someone for this burial. If the coffin was small and Mubad cannot fit in, they can still get another coffin. Exactly. To me, just assumption to me just my opinion maybe maybe just maybe they fish some pause in mobad maybe mobad was in coma and they didn't want that that maybe that is what they broke his neck who knows this guy doesn't resurrect. And that the neck woman. was broken. To oh, make so let's this guy of course, let's give a response. Let's ask said, the question. Mubad, and let's... Mubad, Mubad neck was broken. For the first time we are agreeing with you, all these guys are breaking his neck. Let's ask me. Let's, let's, let's give our responses too. Yes, you have made your question. Why Mubad neck was broken? We do everything to protect women. We get you. Let them resist. His neck was broken before the body coffin. His neck was broken before the body coffin. Trust me. Okay. Now, first, I want to address the fact that you said not all the time, wumi, wumi, wumi. But then, for me, my personal opinion, wumi is the top of the list of people that are going to be queried. Since she wants to be a different widow, she wants to be <clears throat> a widow that is unanswerable in her own words to no one as regards her, her husband questionable death her husband dying in the mysterious circumstances yes Wumi had a swollen forehead on the day of her husband's burial the street trip somewhere that corroborates the fact that there was a fight in the house secondly um the woman 
that you said mentioned the fact that uh, when Mubat was being prayed upon, that was when they tilted his neck, that um, when the pastor wanted to drop his, his, um, his neck. One of the co-hosts on Justice for Mubad told us he spoke with this woman and then she couldn't give any clear explanation. And Baba was right beside her, sitting beside her daddy. That all the things you were saying that day, why would you talk like that? Were you there? And I support the fact that that woman needs to what? That woman needs to be punished because you don't talk carelessly like that in public. This is the same woman that triggered Karimo to come out with a rubbish that uh, Baba Mubad killed his son. This is the same woman that said, oh, uh, they buried Mubad there on that spot because they want to, they want people, they want the whole world to see how far his wife has led him, how much of a bad influence his wife was on him, over him. And fine, even if you are hot, even if the boy that died, is the child of maybe your neighbor or a family friend or something in public these are older people for crying out loud this is a woman in her late 40s or early 50s you don't talk carelessly like that in public i support the fact that that woman needs to be you know she needs to be she needs to be she needs to be punished if it takes her sleeping like a month in, in jail she needs to be punished and this is the same woman that is saying, okay, because it was because pastors were praying, uh, pastors were praying for Mubad. Maybe she, will, maybe they might might be resuscitated. Maybe in spirits might wake up when they are praying for him. And Baba, I know it was said that Baba was asking her that all the things you were saying, you know. And then maybe she couldn't answer. She couldn't give a clear response. Fine, I wasn't there, you know. And then thirdly, about the caskets. Investigations were, I, I know it was alleged that investigations were carried out um, about the caskets also. When um, a co-host, I'll mention his name, Paparani, you know, Arifa, you know, he had a much, he, he went from the mortuary, he trailed where they got the caskets because, the, of course, Darusha mentioned it in his post that he gave the money to the mortuary attendants for the caskets and people were asking and some people were wondering when did the mortuary attendants started selling caskets of course they might give recommendations they can give you know when you ask them it's just like when you when, when you want to plan a wedding you are asking uh, your tailor where you can get good cakes where you can get a party plan of course they'll have them you know it's just like a line of vendors so you know he he, he went to the korodu mortuary and you know he got the the contact of the casket seller from the mortuary trail and he went there and you know the man said he told Darosha that the casket available is for a teenager and you know it, it's alleged that Darosha said um, Darosha said you know that uh, the casket you know, they will use it like that and that it was even Darosha even mentioned that some things to you know he gave him some things like some fetish stuff or you know but you know so when you are saying and then the day mobad died in the house mobile died within hours Wait, I'm busy. hold on for me mobile died with it did, did, did is, is it that Wumi was not in contact with anyone who would put her through was Wumi not in contact with her mother in america or her elder sister who were supposed to tell her the right things to do? Were they in support that she would allow open her eyes for her husband to be embalmed in the house? Was it that she was not in contact with anyone? Okay, because fine, you said it some two days ago or somebody on this platform that immediately a man dies, the family takes over. And I find that funny in this case that the family takes over and the family has not taken over Mubat's property. Okay, you hear me? Okay, I mean, that's not the issue right now. That is what I'm in that this is what um um uh, this is what I want to say. And I'm still insist insisting. You have been calling now with me to come and explain. Come and explain, come and explain. And uh, with me, she has never given you explanation, right? Okay, since all this day, let's shift our attention. 
maybe the other people is going to explain what happened. Women, it is not only women that was there. There is other people. And these other people, they knew whatever women knows about Muba's death also. Otumba, please. Excuse me, excuse me. Mention. Adura Emily, was please. there. Adura was there with his blood brother. Otumba, Darosa, Darosa was there with his uncle. Spending was there who is a uh, maybe cousin or something. Uh, lifestyle was there. These people, they we can get all the information we want from Wumi from also these people. Mr. Let, uh, how do you let, kill a snake? Let's drag them. Mr. Tuma, how do you kill a snake? Them. What's the best way to kill a snake? Let's drag these people. Mr. They are Tumba. also family. They were related right. to Mobad. Otuba, let, Otuba, let me come in because I've tried to wait to really listen. This is my first time of the area encountering you. But what I wanted to say was, since I've been on Paparano's platform, I don't think there has been a period where people around Mobad when he died we are never called out. There could be a higher degree for some people on Wumi because she is a partner. But when you first came, you said we people only talk about Wumi. As far as I'm concerned, even Baba Mubad has been casted on this platform. Even his followers have been casted when you ask questions. Darosha, Spending, Prime Boy, whatever the name, Papa Dano knows them. And whenever we are doing analysis, and they come in question, they are called out. So when you came and said only women, I was a bit thrown off. That is me. Now, to Omakun, I still don't understand your explanation about maid soldier. I really don't. Because I have not seen that word before. For me, I like to learn more. So I really need to understand the maid soldier. But this is what I will say about his neck broken. Apariano, remember maybe two weeks ago, I said something. When mafia want to kill people, a real execution, they shoot you in the head. They don't go through corny way, poisoning you to kill you. They send assassin to you and they kill you off. Therefore, personally, I will rule off Mubaz there to say it has something to do with mafia. But when his neck was broken, hours before he was finally buried, I said something that day. I said it was a confirmation of someone to ensure that he finally dies. Finally dies. Anybody can take that word to bank. If someone has been pronounced in the hospital to be dead, and you still go <laughs> under a DCI or a short coffin to say because the coffin is made for 10 year old, 2 year old, that is why they broke his neck. No. His neck being broken was to confirm, to ensure he died. Number two. That is number two. Number three. His neck being broken and the way his neck went down can also be confirmed to when you liken it to a bird. A year, as they used to call it. So you can bring more conspiracy to it while his neck was broken. But to hide under the disguise that it is because the coffin was small. No. How do you justify his neck was broken? You need to use a smaller coffin to pass your message. So, I will first say, his death does not have the hand of mafia inside. Mafia, no, the, mafia they go straight to do their job all over the world. It is done, it is done. And you don't go see anybody. Now, it might go do Even when caught, keep, treat each other. Straight up, you know it is. You confirm that the person is there, right there and there. And you leave it. Not after before you bury me. So someone to do it is still the suspicion of give me evidence that you've actually killed this guy. And he has to break the neck and possibly send a picture and say it has been done fully. Anyone can, can, can want to argue that with me. And I'll give you many instances. It is a confirmation of the job done. Therefore, whoever did the job, whatever the conspiracy, it's not one person, it's not two people. It is a group of people that followed it. The mistake Baba Mubad made that day was this. 
He left them and you don't blame him. He was tired. He was grieving. He had to leave. They said, I left them in the middle of the night to go home and handed him over. His supposed wife, as the people would want to call her, well, but I always call her his partner, was there. His younger brother was there. Mr. Cousin was there. Mr. Nephew or whatever was there. And tell you what, I've done burial between, within a day. Someone died within a day and we did the burial. You go to, to, to Undertaker and you tell them the height of the person. They will give you. If they don't have, you go and get elsewhere. They will help you to get another place. But they shouldn't come with that cook and boot story. When you go to any Undertaker, you see many sizes of coffin. Beautiful one. Okay, are they saying with two million naira, and the money is just to help them to do the burial. The guy was not a pauper. They should, should have spent some money to bury him in the first place. So if they're just relying on that, are they saying they cannot see a good coffee? Look at that coffee now. It's a makeshift coffee. Like when you bury people in a, in a, in a genocide burial. Are they saying they cannot use 250, 500,000 to buy a good coffin that is matted, that is Masonia, or they have a... a a painted body, what are we talking about now? Aristocrats. Yes, um, my brother. I think we're in a position where we knew that this body needs to be buried hurriedly. And we're not in a position to showcase anything, to take photos or video. We want to bury this guy very quickly. And I can understand the reason why, despite the money, someone may want to go cheap. Now, on Otumba's side, I think I'm beginning to understand Otumba's plight. What Otumba is actually trying to say, if I'm correct, Otumba would probably correct me, is that in a family where you have Darosha, who is Baba Mobad's, um, uh, uh, sorry, Mobad's mother's brother, who is more like family on one side, we have Mobad's brother in there, and we then have Wumi in there. Now we have an entire representation, a full representation of Mobad's family in there, regardless. Why are we picking on just Wumi alone? That's Otumba's question. Otumba, am I correct? Exactly, exactly. Exactly, Demi boy. All the family was present when Mobad was dead, when they are taking him to, for burial. And in the process, in the presence of all this family, cousin, brothers, blood brothers, aunties, uncles, Mobad neck was broken. We need explanation. How Mobad neck was broken. Thank you, Demi. Atuba, did you know that on this platform, the breaking of Mubaz's neck was actually being pinned on Darosa. And it is Darosa that we all always call out for his broken neck. Do you know that? Not Wumi. On this platform as well, uh, what is his name? Adura has been called out for being a, what will I call it? A conspirator and a backbiter and an honest brother who do not come out strongly to say what he knew without any adulteration about his brother's death. We've called this boy out here. We've called our prime boy. We've called our spending. We call out the nurse. For me, that is what I will say. I'm, 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 I am not too heavy on Wumi, actually. But I am heavy on Wumi because I expect more from her. One of the reasons I'm heavy on Wumi is in other instances, it should be Wumi that should be the front line campaigner for justice for her partner. It should be her, not even the, 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 the father. She should be. And uh, we have a great case of Ori Yomi. Aristocrat. So, so that is my Aristocrat. case. Aristocrat. But Botres, according Botres. to his neck being breaking, let, let me finish, sir. Let me finish. But according to his neck being breaking, I don't think Wumi will do that. I think we should ask Darosha. And he has a lot of answers. Darosha, for me, should be a prime suspect. Sir, is the PA after Wumi? For me, in Iraqi, is Darosha. As to what happens to that guy. 
is his PA. He's always there. In spending uh, uh, account, he said he left the place 9 p.m. So he wasn't there all through. So Darosha is there. Next, it should be Adura. Adura claimed, if anybody sees my brother, that was Mubad, any time from 12 noon, they should come and ask. But when they, he was they, they, at the they claimed that Russia yeah. did not leave there and he did not go back home with them. Just imagine. Imagine. Now, they now when they asked good night. Yeah. Adura, Why did you leave? Hmm. when they asked Adura at the inquest, that who do you think killed your brother? He said, his prime boy. Ah, where did you hear him from? Mumi said so. How can your brother talk like that? The stupid boy. And this is the mobile that feed all of them. You have over 15 people in his apartment. He's feeding them. He's paying them salaries. He, he surrounded himself with family for him to be protected. But he was living among enemies. So, I agree with you. I have a... Um, Mumi is, gu is, is, is guilty or can be blamed. Mumi can be blamed. But every other member... Aside even the third party, every other member of his family that lived with him, they are equally to be blamed. They are equally to be blamed. What are they doing? This guy is their employer for crying out. out. They live with him. He's their cash cow. He is their industry. If it doesn't work, they don't get paid. All of them. He's dead now. They don't have job. Do they have job? He's dead now. Do they have job? They don't. But all of them are talking anyhow when he dies. It's, it's a pity, really. But for me, it is not only Wumi that I will call out. And I don't think on this platform it's only Wumi they call out. Okay. Be personal I have to some people. But question for Otumba. Yeah. Otumba, with all your experience and everything we know about this case, what is it about your judgment that makes you believe we are picking on Wumi? What is it about that aspect that really troubles you? <clears throat> yeah, my concerning about uh, some other platform. If if you want to mention the Russia or spending or anybody, <clears throat> they started causing you. All their focus, all their blaming is just on women alone. And to my understanding, it's not just women alone. This mobile issue, it should be all the people around mobile. Even the people that are on his mobile payroll, they live in that house. They know everything. If we see CCTV in that house, they are supposed to know also. But we always direct our questions to Wumi. All our questions is on Wumi. When the families are there, when the friends are there. Atuba, you said this thing, oh, and we've all changed the direction from this. Even the federal department, the police. They are not going to base Just all their investigation on Otumba, Otumba, if Wumi was your daughter, what question will are you likely to be asking Wumi? Let's say today you've traveled out to Mars and you just returned to Earth <laughs> and they play all this movie to you. What uh, question would me, you ask Wumi tonight? No, 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 just, me, just be honest. Question, what question would you ask? I'm going to ask Wumi. Yes. The question I'm going to ask Wumi. Yeah. The woman's family, I believe they will also they must have they must have asked the same. No, what question, question was yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. What happened? When? Where? What time? That is all what I'm going to ask her. Then I'm not going to tell women to go and speak with the public. I will tell women to only speak to his lawyer and the police investigation department. That will be my advice. A lawyer? Why? Yeah, a lawyer. So this time around, um, Why? Uh, let me ask He's you the question. He's not a suspect. Let me, let me ask you the question again, Otumba. Maybe you're not getting it. 
now forget about lawyers forget about now you've returned from mars yeah and you are now on earth and you've now digested the story you are now asking your daughter a question which questions will you ask the daughter knowing the case right now no how, advice i'm not talking about advice you're gonna give her ask her how it happened Go from on. beginning to the end from beginning to the end okay so if if you then look at the situation and you then, obviously, with all everything you've digested, you came across a DNA situation. What will be your take on that DNA situation? After you've listened to everything, what advice would you give your daughter about that DNA situation? To me, DNA is a situation from the yes. onset. It was wrong. No, not the onset. Not it the was onset. wrong because... Listen, listen to, no, 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 from the social Look, media when we when we put something to you in emotion i've made it clear to you it's a scenario make keep it simple you've just returned to earth from mass and they've they've related all this thing to you what advice will you give your daughter about the dna situation forget about what has happened Can, you go have on, to go and do the dna and Gumi have never said he's not going to do dna so no no okay so if you are woman's Wumi's father, what, what what action, extra action will you take to yeah, make sure that you done? DNA is a must. I will tell my daughter to go do DNA and follow the due process. Papa Rano, is that that, clap, is that that clap thing in the Otumba is saying DNA is a must? I haven't heard yes. him say this. Before. DNA is a must, but with due process. So why the due process? We, uh, hey. Why the deal process? Because why not, why not just take Excuse your daughter? Because why not just take your daughter to a center and get the DNA? Because the DNA, DNA, DNA is a why public matter. Why it was not, it was not asking by the family. If it was asking by the family, we, knew, we wouldn't know anything about DNA. Well, you as a very can, intelligent, as me, a, they can as do a very it. intelligent, they can do it within their family. Very intelligent traditional man. <laughs> You I'm can coming. forget about the, the judicial system and take your daughter to a center and just get her to do the DNA once and for all. Will you not consider doing that? I can do that secretly. But the public one, I will ask, I will advise her to follow due process. The reason I will advise her to follow due process, this is a small kid we, we're talking about. If we're anywhere in the world, when it comes to issues like this, they were still going to use this DNA issue against that against, against that kid in the future. So the the DNA, DNA issue must be documented. So which one which one will you advise, public or private? We will do private first. You don't even know maybe we may have already. So been why why before. can't if why can why can't me. we? If why they want we, to do private work, or if, they, if it's already done, we right now, they don't even why, need Baba Mubad to do Why can't we advise right now? Why can't we, all the people that are advocating on behalf of women that are connected to her, why can't we just advise her to go private? That is what I'm telling you. You don't even know, maybe it's already done privately. But it won't come to public to tell you to no, tell you. Has done it privately, because she will be proud. Excuse me, because will be you will still to put it on social media. Oh, if, the, if the, the public won. Which she would have been proud to put it on social media. He has to follow so due process. It has to be documented. She Mr. needs to talk that. Mr. So in future, excuse me. So in future, maybe this guy wants to go in politics or something. When the op when the opposition want to use it again, this guy. The record is going to be there. So do you do you believe that woman could have actually done it and know that it's negative and she's now playing the games? A question uh, to you. I don't know, but DNA is emotion. She's <laughs> going to do the public one. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's talk about it. Anyway, uh, anyway, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Let me just talk this is for Thank you. Thank it, you. It, it's not just about um women like wanting to do DNA. Women need court order because women want to fight in the court that the father do not have such right to request for this DNA done. Papa, yeah, no. It's not I'm just not, going to I'm, be I'm like... I'm not going against that. Every, we, have, uh, we have our fundamental right. Oh. Let, let her use her right. I thought she has done no, it. She no, has no, done no, it privately. She has a fundamental right. 
Yeah. Otuba. 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 Yeah, she doesn't want to do it. Wait, wait, Otuba. I believe you understand the law on paternity matter. If you understand the law on paternity matter, the father or the grandfather of the child has every right as a member of the family to request for DNA. Because in Nigeria, there is no law that says he cannot ask for it. Especially when there is a death of his son and his son is not alive. Exactly. And eventually, you are still going to talk about his estate. As a member of the family or as head of the family, he has every right to say, I want to clear any doubt about the paternity of my grandson. Do you agree? Mr. With? Aristocrat, Mr. Aristocrat, I want to, I want you to know my stand about this DNA issue. I've already said it. DNA is a must. I don't care whoever has for DNA. Is it the grandfather or anyone or anyone? With but this case, with this, excuse here. me, with this issue, DNA yes. is a must. Okay, good. But it has to be done with due process. Then what are the process? Sir? What is the due process? Now I've asked you what is the due process actually. Yes, they need court order. This DNA issue what need to order? be documented. This DNA issue need, need to be documented because of this key the future. That is my Tell stand. you what. Tell you what, Otuba. You see, you see the reason why. So the record, the, they have to uh, set the record straight. It needs to be documented straight. because of Liam's future. This Liam can become anything. In future, we all know that aspect. We not know that. Yes, that, the aspect, maybe he's going. The aspect, he's going to go into politics. That's why he, that's why we should do it. Long get on internet. That's why we should. That is what I'm he, saying. He uh, should be documented with court order. Let me let me break things down. Let me break things down. To Tumba, Tumba doesn't understand. Let's move on. I want Tumba to define. I want Tumba to define the court order what would be in the court order are you saying someone goes to court and says, i don't you know here by but order to we miss you we miss you not do we you to you to you you not arguing when you, you, no. you learn when you do it is mobile son or it's not mobile son i don't know if you are being honest with you yet don't be on our intelligence you don't know something you let those who learn teach you please that's how you October, relax. You see, in this case of paternity, let's educate ourselves a little. Number one, a case of the court exists to resolve criminal matters which can never be resolved. Yeah, uh, Mr. In... Aristocrat, you know I came here to hit. I said, I said I want to talk. You've spoken because I, want, you, I, you I want don't to want to be uh, talking to you guys and driving. That is why okay. I stay here. Maybe when I go to him, then we continue. That but... No, Allah. That is his way. We always he dodge the questions. Go in first, no, Allah. Let's continue. Uh, leave her, make it a go. He said they go, so no, Allah. But whatever Oto Otuba is saying is very simple. You see, this paternity matter in the first place ought not to be a public show of shame in the first place. Ought not to be. Because if this thing went through even the so-called customary way that Wumi said she got married to Mubad, in a customary family, it is the father that took the wife. When you get married in a traditional way, they will hand you over to the father of the groom, not the groom. And they will say she has become your child because she married the family. Therefore, the father of the groom is the head of the family. And they intercede at every level. Let's assume this matter happened as it, as it happened. When the man said, I heard this happen, that happened infidelity, I think we should do paternity of the child. It should not be trouble. Baba Ashe and Kotefeni, no problem. We will do in a, in, a, in in a lab that I, the mother of the child, will tell you. You too, you do in your own, and we do in an independent one. 
let these people call it is finished result will come out no noise nothing it is settled but because someone wants to grandstand you now made it a big deal at the end of the day when you go to either a customary court or a magistrate court to sort this thing out you will do that dna because the grandfather requested for it and if it goes to court if you challenge it except you say joseph aloba has not been identified or has not been regarded as father of Le of, of mobad while he was alive that is the only position then his brother his sister can then take their side off but as a family of the disease they have the right to know even if it is not done on that basis when it is time to talk about his estate the man can still come out and say i do not believe the person that is regarded as the heir to my son is actually his son i want to be sure and court we order it because you cannot give someone property to someone that does not relate to the person except they say mobad knew the child is not my own and that is a document to say he was adopted that they will agree because in his lifetime he has adopted the child if those one does not exist anyone coming to say blah 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 is story that touch it has to be done and i'm simply asking otumba what is the procedure everybody calls court order. do you even know procedure what is court order court order what hello good evening everybody can i say something absolute please? junior continue okay i agree to the entire house uh, you guys have uh, been doing wonderful work and i've been listening to the contributions and suggestions and comments well for me what i want to say i just want us to have a open mind i might be saying something that's might not sound nice to you or whatever but this is my own observation you know from the initial start from this case this whole thing leading to the barrier of mobad the family from the paternal side to me they did not see anything wrong with the barrier no. they went ahead let me just finish please they went ahead and buried this guy and i believe that during the barrier papa mobad was not present there at the barrier ground but at least if it's not present there one or two family members from the paternal side should be there at the burial ground and none of these family members were able to spot the small coffee the neck being broken and the neck being bent in the coffee if not for the public cry out that pinpointed all these facts today this case would have been done and dusted the family did not see anything wrong in that they went and buried this guy so to me i feel there's a collaboration that we don't know about between the mother side and the father side because they all come together and went ahead and do this guy's barrier without any fault if not for the public that cried out and said no why did you even bury this guy so early why was this guy neck bent in the coffee the family never raised any issues like that so to me there's a clause there that's what i want to say